Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Orgasmic Living. I am your host, Patty Alfonso, empowering you to live orgasmically by including your body's innate genius in the creation of your life. How does it get any better than that? Welcome, welcome, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Today's topic, vulnerability as a source for living orgasmically. First, I wanna look at what is vulnerability really? What is that? There's so many different nuances and definitions out in the world around what this word is and what it means. And my favorite is access consciousness take on vulnerability. And in the tools of access consciousness, we talk about vulnerability as the willingness to see everything about everyone. And that includes you. It's about having no walls, no barriers, no separation. It's about being willing to receive all information. Now, I wanna wanna play with this in a couple of different ways. One of the things that I wanna point out as well is that Vulnerability is the willingness to see the good, the bad, and the ugly. Not just about the people around you, but about yourself as well. It's also the willingness to see the magic, the amazingness, the awesomeness of you, right? And everyone around you as well. And we have this amazing tool in Access Consciousness as well called Who Does This Belong To? And it's one of the first tools that you use, that you learn in this amazing body of work. And it's one of the tools that you use throughout the rest of your journey with the tools of Access Consciousness. And I love this tool. When I first came to these tools, oh my gosh, this this question was amazing because all of the sort of like thoughts and, and feelings and ideas that I was functioning from when I asked that question, like, who does this belong to? And I realized that actually that point of view or that judgment or that thought wasn't actually mine. I could just return it to sender and free myself and my body and my being from that ridiculous point of view. What I've been noticing lately is the ways in which some people are using this tool to bypass looking at the things that they really need to look at about themselves. Vulnerability is the willingness to see everything about everyone, including you. Um, and it's, it's actually been really interesting. I want to give you a couple of examples of how this showed up for me in my life. Uh, I was having a session with a beautiful, beautiful man, friend of mine, and um, it was a vulnerable sort of uh, situation. And I was like lowering my barriers, but I found myself getting really, really chatty. And I was just like, blah, 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 blah. And I was just talking, 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 talking. Because you guys know me, I get really excited. And I start talking about all kinds of stuff. And I was just like talking, 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 la, 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 la. And all of a sudden, this energy came up. I don't know, it just came up and I went, and I said, oh, am I talking too much? I should shut up. And he looked at me with such gentleness and such kindness and he said, Hattie, I I didn't say that. Your dad is actually the one that said that to you. In this session, we were talking about some of the things um, that I experienced growing up. And, you know, I grew up in a family where kids were to be seen and not heard. And so here I was going on and on and on and chatting, 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 and that energy like came up for me again. Now, I could have reacted to his comment with, oh, well, that's not mine. That's not mine. I don't need to look at that. That's not mine. But if something pings you in some kind of way, if something sticks to you in some kind of way, then be willing to look at it. When we say, you know, 98% of your thoughts, feelings, and emotions don't belong to you, 
there's 2% of that stuff that actually you need to handle. I remember actually it was Dr. Dane here who said that to me like many, many, many years ago. I found myself on his uh, table during a being you class and he'd asked me like, what's coming up for you? Like, you know, whatever. And in that moment, I, I remember saying, you know, I'm having all of this stuff come up around men and men showing up for you and, and men being kind to you. And I'm having all of this energy come up. And he stopped in that moment to tell the class exactly what I just said to you. Yes, 98% of your thoughts, feelings, and emotions don't actually belong to you. You are super, super psychic, SpongeBob of the universe. And 2% maybe, 1% maybe of those things that ping you are things that you got to deal with. You want to live orgasmically? We got to clear all of that insanity from our universe. And in that moment when that healer said that to me, like, hey, I, I didn't tell you to show to, to be quiet. I'm enjoying what you're talking about. But because of our previous conversations, he knew that that was something that I would struggle with, being told my whole life to shut up and to shush and that I was too loud, right? And in that moment, that energy came up. In vulnerability, I was willing to acknowledge that and become aware, wow, there's still something here for me to unpack. There's another layer for me to let go of when it comes to this, this energy in my life. And that led to a whole bunch of other things that I started looking at, you know, the way that I'm showing up in the world and the way that, you know, I'm creating the business and all of these things, right? So it was a huge gift in that moment. Now I wanna look at a different scenario because I was talking to another amazing man who's been a friend of mine for a long time and I was having a bit of a rough moment and I was, you know, feeling tired feeling a little tired. Uh, being an entrepreneur is an up and down all around journey. It can be fun and exciting and amazing and sometimes it can be exhausting. And I was talking to this friend of mine about being so tired of like the gaslighting that goes on in certain institutions. The gaslighting that goes on in the world. Hi Frank, hi Tammy, hi everyone. Um, the gaslighting that, I mean, to me just seems unnecessary, but I was like exhausted having to like be present to that energy, to that cruelty. Cause really sometimes it's just fucking cruel. Okay. And maybe some of you guys have had experiences with gaslighting and you know what I'm talking about. Um, and I was in a moment of like, lowering my barriers and of vulnerability, right? I was looking at a choice that I had to make and which way to go in this area. And the thing that was weighing on me was that staying involved included dealing with and being present with this particular energy of gaslighting, which I find to be uncomfortable and abhorrent and all that good stuff. And so I was having this moment of vulnerability and sharing this with this person. And their response was, well, you should really look at how you're creating that. Hmm. And it pinged me and I was like, oh, oh, it was heavy. And it was like twisty and weird. And I was like, uh. But I sat with it because I'm willing to look at everything. Right, I'm willing to receive everything. I'm willing to look at everything. I'm willing to ask questions about everything. Hi, Jean. And I sat with that energy and I got present with that energy. I got vulnerable with that energy. I looked at, okay, where am I creating this energy, this gaslighting, this, um, um, I use many other words that I can't remember right now. And I was like, huh, so I just, I don't know. The cool thing about vulnerability and the willingness to receive everything is that it does include all of the amazing things that consciousness wants to give to you. So as I sat with this energy for like a couple of days, cause I didn't respond right away, um, the universe gifted me with a shit ton of information about how I was just aware of energy. 
wasn't that I was particularly creating it, although I've had my moments of creating it, I'm not gonna lie, but I was just aware of something that was going on behind the scenes, behind the curtain. And I was like, huh. And this brings me back to the concept of, you know, using this tool of like, you're creating your reality and who does this belong to as a way to bypass looking at what you need to look at for yourself. Because in, in reality, and in, in what is true for me in these 10 seconds is that that person wasn't willing to look at how they were creating gaslighting. And look at, like, that's just what's light for me. Um, and thanks to consciousness for showing me all of the places where that is what is true. Because I have this horrible tendency of, you know, making myself wrong, <laughs> thinking that everything is my fault, that I, you know. But in that moment of pure vulnerability with all of the energies that were available, I was willing to be like, okay, actually, this really isn't about me. I'm, I'm not the one creating this right now. I'm just really aware of it. So yes, 98% of your thoughts, feelings, and emotions aren't yours. But please, I would like to invite you into the space of vulnerability, of being able to look at the 2% that is yours and have the cojones to do whatever it takes to change it. Changing it can be fun and easy and fast. Sometimes it's a bit of an uphill, uncomfortable stretching, but either way, I guarantee that you will have more of you on the other side of that. And that more of you includes living orgasmically. People always are like, you have such an incredible amount of joy. And I'm like, yes, I have an incredible amount of joy because I allow myself the full spectrum of experience on this planet. And sometimes that includes not being comfortable. But vulnerability is all about being willing to see everything about everyone, including you. The good, the bad, the ugly, the fun, the miraculous, the life-changing, the awesome. All of it. And the piece that is the most important is to not judge, not judge yourself, not judge the people around you. You know, when, when the healer was like, oh, you know, I didn't tell you to shut up, your, your dad did. It's not like I beat myself up because I was still functioning from some layer of that point of view. I was like, oh my gosh, wow, this is really interesting that this is showing up right now. And you know what the coolest thing is? Like, I love, my favorite term is the joy of awareness. Wow, I have this awareness now. Now I can do something about it and change it. Wow, I can't believe that still snuck in there after all this work that I've done. Now I get to change this layer, okay? And the joy of awareness, wow, I'm not actually creating all of this insanity. That's that person. Wow, it's not, it really isn't mine. <laughs> Vulnerability is one of the key sources of living orgasmically. Someone else said to me the other day, which I thought was such a beautiful acknowledgement. She was saying to me like, God, Patty, you make everything look so easy. And I was like, huh. And I kind of looked at that. And I was like, well, this is interesting. She was like, how do you do it? And I was like, I don't ever give up. I just keep going. I just keep going no matter what, no matter what that mountain is that you have to climb right now, go, go for it, do it. And then I had to take a moment of vulnerability and acknowledge myself, wow, things are easy right now. And then I could take that moment and acknowledge man, all of the mountains that I've had to climb and all of the hurdles that I've had to go around and get through and outcreate, Because I've spent 15 years dedicated to like my own personal growth and development so that I could live orgasmically. 
because it's important to me because I want to live a life of joy and pleasure and gratitude and and amazingness. And I'm not going to give up on that no matter what it takes, no matter what it looks like. So what's it going to take for you? Are you willing? Are you really, really willing to, to climb that mountain, jump off that cliff, take that leap, have your own back, let consciousness have your back, surround yourself with amazing people that will contribute to you no matter what. What else is possible? And when it comes to vulnerability, it is such an important, important piece of the puzzle. You know, having intimacy with yourself, vulnerability is one of the five, five elements of intimacy of access consciousness. When you have intimacy with yourself, when you have intimacy with your body, man, nothing can stop you. Nothing, no matter what anyone says. No matter what anyone says. My dear friend was like, well, you better check yourself and see how you're creating that. I was like, oh, that's kind of nasty. Hmm, that's good. That's good information to know. Okay, <laughs> cool. That kind of feels like a little bit of blame and shame. Hmm, hmm, okay. Well, that's good, good, good information to know. How does it get better? <laughs> All right, sweet friends, thank you so much for being here with me today. I adore you all. Uh, I have a, a master class that I'm playing with in the next few weeks called Body, Friend, or Foe. And it's all about, you know, including your body in your life in a way that includes everything, everything. So come play with me, pattyalfonso.sexy slash friend. I adore you all. I will see you next week. How does it get any better than this? Please go forth, lower your barriers, let go of all those barriers because to receive information, you got to have no walls. <laughs> all right. Bye for now. Thanks, everyone.